Hey guys, what's up? It's your buddy Keith here at Essex Recording Studios in England. And I've got another guitar that just came through our studio doors. I'm going to share it with you. It's a Gibson Flying V Melody Maker. Um, to my knowledge, they made these in three colors. We just had one. If you check out our other videos, there was one in satin white. They've got the black, satin black, and they also do a blue, I believe. They're all in a uh, satin kind of matte nitro cellulose finish. Really cool. That's kind of all the rage right now. The aged look, relic look, old nitro look. Super popular with Gibsons and Fenders. And if you look, what will happen is as it wears, you'll get a little patina and it'll start to kind of shine a bit. So it ages quite nicely. And after a while, each guitar will have its own kind of distinct patina based on the profile of the person playing. So going on to the features of this guitar, what sets it apart from other Flying Vs and other Gibsons is a few things. Uh, neck profile is exactly the same. The nut, the width is the same. Um, tuners are the same. Hardware, you've got one knob, but again, it's a Gibson top hat. So a lot of the stuff is the same and will feel very uh, familiar, I guess, if you're a Gibson player. What is different with the Melody Maker is, for starters, the size of the body is a little bit thinner. It's a maple body instead of mahogany. So you've got a, a lighter wood. The neck is quarter sawn mahogany, so that's the same. But the headstock's a little bit smaller. So you see it's a much more compact headstock. Nice gold Gibson logo on the truss rod. The fretboard, interestingly enough, I might have misspoken in the last video, I'll have to check it out. But this is not a rosewood fretboard. It looks like it from afar. But if we come up close, check out the grain patterns and details. It's baked maple. So it's a baked maple fretboard. And it's made, I guess well, that process hardens it. It's, according to Gibson, it's, uh, it is a harder, more durable wood and it still has the brown I guess appearance of rosewood so that's interesting and then you've got a wrap around I think it's Wilkinson style tremolo here no stop tail piece very good and then this is a Seymour Duncan bridge pickup which is interesting we'll go ahead and flip it over these came with a Gibson USA gig bag They've got pearl, are they mother of pearl? They look like they're maybe pearloid, maybe they're acrylic dot markers. And then if we flip this over, okay. Getting focused there, there you go. And you see as I swoop this camera back and forth, you see how there's like a matte finish and then it kind of, the gloss comes out. That's just because of the, the light up top here shining down. But it is, in general, a, you know, that is kind of what it looks like. There we go. If you think about a car when they, uh, if you ever get a car repainted and you have all, like, all the orange peel and stuff before they've sanded it, wet sanded it, and it's kind of dull and hazy, that is the distinct look of nitrocellulose. So it is that way on purpose. And then as we get here, we've got the Clusen Deluxe tuners, vintage style tuners, made in USA for 2011. Then there's a serial number, 12031069. And I don't know why they have Clusen instead of Gibson. We just did a video on a Slash signature, and he has the Clusons as well. I know that Cluson made all the tuners for Gibson and then continued to make them, but I think it's late, like 69 or early 70s, they d decided to change the writing to Gibson, even though they were still being made by Cluson or Cluson, however you pronounce it. But this has it. So you got premium parts, good, good parts, good components. 
good looking guitar, very, very lightweight, very manageable. You can definitely travel with this, no problem. Throw it in the gig bag, throw it over your shoulder, you're good to go. So excellent, excellent guitar if you need something just to take to a practice gig, if you're commuting like on a train or something like that, or on the tube in London, not too far from me. And also a great student guitar, great if you want to have, you know, your, your son's first Gibson. This is a great starter. It looks awesome. If you just want a cool guitar to hang up on the wall as art, you know, something that you can just pick up off the wall and you're watching TV on the couch. Again, that's what the Melody Maker is for. And if something ever happens to it, not a tragedy. But they're really cool. If you collect Flying Vs, this is a definite must because it's really interesting. It's kind of funky. It's different. And they didn't make these very long. So it was a limited run. I think they were only made in 2011. I'll have to double check that. Maybe someone here knows they can comment. Regardless, now you know what these black ones look like. Check out the other videos on the channel. There's a white one there too. And other than that, guys, I will see you soon in the next video. Hit subscribe on the channel, follow us on Facebook, it's Essex Recording Studios. If you're in the UK or want to come to the UK, we've got accommodation here at the studio. This is the kitchen after all. Upstairs are the bedrooms and the rest of downstairs, I'm going to show it to you one of these days, is the uh, control room, live room, the amp room, the guitar room. So uh, yeah, we'd love to have you. And then you can rock out on one of the, our many guitars. I think we've got about 100 here. So yeah. Next up is, what are we going to do next? We just, did, we just did a Joe Perry Aerosmith guitar. I think next up we've got a, I think we're going to do some Epiphones. I've got a ton of Zach Wilde Epiphones laying around here. I've got a Buzzsaw one, a Camo one. I think I've got three or four of the white bullseye ones. So that's coming up very soon, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.